welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. For those who don't know me, I'm Calda from Calda Ceramics. I am now making ceramics for about 3 years. I'm 17 years old and I'm living in the Netherlands. And at this channel I make videos to learn you how to make pottery, how to base pottery and I might make some videos on how to grow your social media as an artist. In this video I'm going to show you how to work with this mini wheel. I posted it on Instagram some time ago and people reacted very positive about it. So I thought let's talk some more about it and show you what you can do with it. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything but I just thought it might be helpful for some of you guys to see what you can do with a mini wheel. So let's get started. Here's a closer look to the mini wheel. So as you can see it's just a white box with uh, the wheel on top. And here is a little switch so you can adjust the speed of drawing. And then here's just a hole for the USB cable which you get with it. And there are also some wooden tools which you get with it. Um, I'm actually only using this one myself. But um, you, of course you can try to use these. But in my opinion they are a bit too big to use with a mini vase. Especially this one, because if you compare it with a mini face, it is quite big, so I think it's difficult to use, but you can of course try and see it for yourself. And well, that is actually already it. Oh, and if you see, I paint my table, I think it looks great. <laughs> and now we're going to throw something on the wheel. To throw a small pot you of course need a small amount of clay and you also need some water. I like to put it in a little bowl I made myself but if you don't have this you can of course just grab a bigger bowl or pot or whatever. <laughs> it really helps to make the clay into a bowl so what you need to do is just put it between your hands and just well do this. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so you get a nice round bowl which you can just place on top of the wheel and to attach the clay to the wheel I just grab a little bit of water and put this on the wheel don't make it too wet otherwise it won't work and just push the clay on it and just press it until you think it's stuck there <laughs> I'm now going to um, let it throw and as you can see the clay keeps sitting on the wheel so now you can start centering. For centering you first need to make your hands wet. So I just use um, my thumbs and my index fingers, I think they are called. And then you just start centering. Centering means that you push the clay in the middle of the wheel. And as you can see it, when you push at the wheel, the wheel starts throwing a bit slower. So what you can do, what you can do is just speed up the speed <laughs> so you don't have a problem with this and now just push on the sides and at the top so you get your bowl of clay centered. As you can see the clay is now almost totally centered only a little bit of clay on the bottom isn't totally centered so what I do to um, get rid of this is use the tool they give with it. So you just push it in the bowl of clay on the bottom and just try to get rid of it. And then you can smoothen it out a bit. And as you can see, now the bowl of clay is totally centered. Okay, now I'll start opening up the form. So I use my pink for this. Just wet it a bit and just push it in the middle of your ball of clay and as you can see that can get some clay off because of your nail but that isn't a problem and just keep on pushing until you think you've got the bottom as thin as you'd like it to be but don't make it too thin because otherwise you won't have a bottom anymore <laughs> And when you've opened up the shape, you can now start pushing upwards. So I just push at the bottom a bit and then try to make an upwards movement with your hands. And as you can see, it gets a bit higher.
and the top isn't really centered anymore but this isn't a problem it's very difficult to keep this centered while throwing this small so you can just uh, cut it off later on which I will show you but for now you can just try to make it higher just by pushing it upwards and when you think you've got the height you want you can now start shaping your face or of course you can also make other shapes with this wheel but um, for now I like to make Phases. So I just use the same tool as before and just push it in the inside because my hands are too big for this so I use this tool to do it and you can now shape the lid a little bit so I like to have it a bit more open and as you can see this is also the part where you try to make the lid um, straight so you can just push on it until it doesn't move anymore and I like to make the neck a little bit thinner so just press it in a little bit just like that and then you've got almost the shape of a face but as you can see the bottom is still a bit too wide so we need to take some clay away of it so same as with the centering part I just press this tool into it to cut some of the clay off and I like to make it a little bit of a round face so I take some more clay off on the bottom Now you can just smoothen it out with your finger and some water so it gets a nice and round shape. And then you already have a face and you can still um, ex try to change the shape if you want. But now you should not press too hard otherwise the whole face will get off the wheel. So just press a little bit. And make sure your fingers are wet, otherwise the clay will stick to your hands instead of the wheel. Which isn't very fun. <laughs> and when you're happy about shape, you can just grab a sponge. I like to use this sponge from uh, Mud Tools. But if you, doesn't, if you don't have this, you can of course use all different kinds of spo sponges. <laughs> sponges. <laughs> and then I just smoothen it out so you get a nice and flat surface. And then you have made a vase. <laughs> so once you've thrown your face or whatever you throw you can just take it off directly but I like to first glaze it which means you first have to dry it a bit so I use my heat gun for this and just dry it <laughs> I experienced that the face is dry enough to glaze when the rim, as you can see, gets lighter than the rest of the face. So now you can just start glazing it. For glazing these small faces, I've been using two different kinds of glazes. Um, the first one are Stroke and Coats from Mako. I've used these two glazes for this mini face and which is great about it is that you only have to fire it once and it will get shiny right after. The other option I have is using these underglazes from BOTS. Um, which I really like about these is that they are just very small BOTS, so they look very good with the mini wheel. 
but they are also work very great and the thing is you can just put it Place. so don't do it because it doesn't give that smooth and shiny effect so I just wait until it dries itself now comes a little bit of a scary part where I will be taking off the mini face so what I do is just um, Put the wire around your small face, press it down on the other side and then just pull it one side and then just try to pull it off and as you can see the face just starts moving and you can just pull it off and then just grab it with your other hand and then you have your face. As you can see the bottom of the face has a little bit of a sharp rim but you can just sand this after you fired it once. I will now show you a little clip on how I do this. I'm now going to sand this little face because as you can see it also has a bit of a sharp rim. So what I use for this is this little, I think it's a bat. <laughs> I don't know why I call everything which I don't know the name of a bat. but. It's like this small sanding bed from Diamond Core Tools. I'm not sponsored, but it does work quite all right. So what I do is just wet it a bit. And then I am going to sand the bottom. So you can just squeeze it first, I squeeze it over the bottom to make a smooth bottom. And then I make like an angle like this to sand the sharp edges. That was it for this video, thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it and you learned something new from it. If so, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. From now on I will be posting a new video every Friday, so stay tuned, have a nice week and I will see you next video. Bye! <laughs>